Hey guys, welcome back, and well, first and foremost, I want to apologize to you guys. I'm, I'm really sorry that I wasn't able to post a video soon enough. I think the last video I posted was the Doom beta, and if you check, that was like, that was about two weeks ago, so that was quite some time. Again, I'm really sorry. I'm really disappointed that I couldn't post a video for you guys, but as you know, or if you know, I'm still in school. I'm still a high schooler. I'm a teenager. So obviously, schoolwork takes a lot of time. It takes my days, my nights, my weekends even, and it's, and it's ridiculous, to be honest with you, but it is what it is, I guess. So, again, I'm sorry, and I'm... You know, I, I, <laughs> I'm actually tr supposed to be doing an essay right now, or, you know, when I was recording this, a three-page essay, but, again, I felt so guilty that I didn't post a video for so long that I thought, you know what, I might as well just post a quick five to seven minute video, you know, just so you guys can have a video from me. So, anyway, this video is going to be a story time video, and I'm going to be talking about my first planet experience, the first planet I've, I've ever been in. So yeah, let's get into the story. Um, I think this was about a few weeks after I first got Xbox Live. Yeah, about a few weeks, you know, I was like 14, I was really, 13 or 14, I was really young at the time. And you know, one night when I was playing matchmaking, I got a message from this guy. I checked it and it turned out to be a clan leader. He said stuff like, oh, you know, our clan is so amazing, you know, our clan has a lot of members, we are active, and, you know, all, you know, fill in the blanks here and there. And, you know, 14-year-old me, freaking, like, young freaking me, was, like, so excited, you know, I was like, oh my god, wow, someone actually messaged me. You know, I was freaking, like, freaking fanboying off of just this one message, but... Anyway, I, you know, I joined his party, I joined his, um, lobby, I checked the clan out, and, you know, to, at first, everything seemed good, you know, the, the leader seemed good, the clan members seemed good, the entire clan seemed pretty cool. <laughs> Little did I know, one day later, just one day later, I saw the real face of this clan. Like, literally, 10 in the morning, I get a message saying, we have training to do, and I'm like, oh, um, okay, that's, that's cool, I guess. I go in, and literally, we were freaking doing military-grade training. The freaking, like, clan leaders freaking acted like freaking military, freaking Navy SEAL-grade, um, you know, drill sergeants or whatever. Like, literally, I'm pretty sure not even freaking SEAL Team 6 had training like this. That's how freaking severe this was. And... I mean, just want to put this out there, these freaking leaders were straight up jerks. Uh, it, it, like, they had no patience. They were freaking, like, mean to all of the freaking, like, members. Even the freaking, like, medium level members. And, literally, if you got, like, one freaking centimeter, one freaking millimeter out of line, out of place, they would freaking punish you severely. And they would give you crouch laps, they'd make you push a freaking vehicle or whatever across... The map, it, it was ridiculous. It was really, really ridiculous. Like, you know how in, like, like, they had no patience. But, like, you know, like, how in baseball, like, you know, when you're at the bat, you know, at the freaking plate, like, you have three chances to hit the ball, like, and then you're out, right? Not with this freaking clan. With this clan... Literally, one mistake, one strike, and you're freaking done for. They had no mercy, no remorse for you. It was, it was, he was astonishing, in all honesty. I, I can literally give you two of my freaking best or freaking worst experiences with this specific clan. First off, I think we were doing like a raid or whatever. Our armor was like tan green, and then the opposite team was, or the opposite clan was like really really light brown so it's like kind of similar in color and like just so you guys know i'm kind of colorblind i'm not completely colorblind like i can definitely distinguish between red and blue 
But, like, when it comes to colors, like, let's say blue and purple or, like, freaking light brown and freaking tan green, I have an issue, like, distinguishing them. So, you know, during this raid, and, um, <laughs> it kind of seems, like, ridiculous now that I think about it, but during this raid, you know, since I couldn't distinguish, you know, the colors, and again, keep in mind, you know, there wasn't, and you, you couldn't see the gamer tag on the players, and friendly fire was on, so, you know, due to my colorblind, I kept, um, I kept shooting and killing our second in command, of, or the second in command of the clan, and <laughs> he straight up got so mad at me, he got so pissed, like, literally, he shouted at me, he freaking scolded me so hard that I, I, if I remember correctly, I literally felt like my face was gonna freaking fly off of my skull. That was how hard he was freaking like pushing on me. So, you know, he freaking said like, oh, you, you know, you're supposed to know who your freaking members are, you know, why are you shooting me, you know, etc, etc. And I, you know, I, I think I told him before, but at the time, I don't know, just again, I told him like, I'm really sorry, sir, or dude, or whatever I called him. But I'm kind of colorblind. I'm a little bit colorblind. I'm really sorry. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, I'll try to do it again, but please be patient with me. And, you know, you would think that any normal person would be like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't know. Or, you know, I'm sorry. We'll try to work something out, see what I can do to, you know, help you out, you know, prevent this again. Like, you would think a normal person would do that, right? Or he would do that, right? Well, nope. This guy, again, was freaking merciless. Like, he was like, I don't care that you're freaking colored, but you're supposed to know who your teammates are. You're supposed to distinguish who your teammates are. And you know, he, I think he gave me a freaking crouch lapse or something, or some freaking, like, bullshit freaking um, punishment. I mean, I don't really remember what it was. And another time, I mean, this isn't really a specific event, more like kind of a general... um. Like, something in general that happened j while I was in the clan. Again, I, I just joined Xbox Live. I think it was, like, a few weeks after. Um, and I think I was I just moved into a new house. So you would imagine that the internet would be kind of, you know, garbage, <laughs> to say the least. Kind of iffy. So, you know, while, you know, I was doing, you know, we were doing, like, training, meetings, raids even... More than likely, I would light out or my internet would go off and, you know, I would be disconnected, right? And I would always ask them, like, hey, can you send me an invite? I think over time, they kind of got pissed at me or kind of got upset, upset at me, even though I told them that, again, I have crappy internet. But they literally said, like, yo, chimp or chimp, you're supposed to be on. You're not supposed to be leaving the freaking, you know lobbies and I, I keep telling I kept telling them I have shitty crappy internet I'm, I'm really sorry but I mean I don't know what else to do um, and you know again they'd probably always give me some freaking like crouch laps or something or some garbage like that I, I don't remember but um yeah so I think like after that I think I took like a break it wasn't it wasn't even a week it was like I think I took a break on Wednesday and then came back on a Saturday so I came back, and one of my other friends, who turned out to, you know, who was also in a clan, too, um, you know, he asked me, like, hey, Jim, can you ask your clan leader if he wants an alliance? And I was like, sure. So I joined my clan leader's party, and I asked him, like, hey, one of my friends wants to do an alliance with us. Is that okay? And he's like, oh, yeah, um, by the way, Jim, you're not in the clan anymore. And I was like what yeah he said like i was being inactive i wasn't participating and i literally freaking freaking reprimanded him saying what do you mean i wasn't participating i've literally been to every meeting every freaking like training and every raid that we've done like what are you talking about and he said like you kept leaving the lobby and again i told him i had bad internet what do you expect and he's like and he didn't care i just want to put it out there he didn't care he said didn't care I think he kicked me out or I left, I really don't remember, but, you know, I, 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 was, I wasn't in the clan anymore. I joined another clan after that. But, um, I think, I mean, you're, you guys are probably going to hear about other clans that I've been in. Because I'm probably going to talk about more about my, um, 
Halo Reach experience or my clan experience, but I think it's pretty safe to say that this first clan that I was in was probably the worst clan I'll, I have or ever will be in, in all honesty. Like, again, they were merciless. It was, it was, gar it was a freaking garbage clan. If freaking garbage could be a clan, it was this clan. I think, I mean, they, they, they didn't really talk to me after that. We lo kind of lost contact. I didn't talk to them, nor did I want to talk to them, but that's beside the point. But, I mean, I mean, I don't know if I'm being too mean here, but I kind of, I kind of hope their freaking clan went down the drain. Because they didn't deserve to freaking, like, have a freaking clan, in all honesty. Or at least didn't deserve anyway. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment what you think, and again, peace out.